Carnelia Altered Space. Ba -ba -ba -ba. And it starts off with a buttload of chests. That's always a fun way to start a dungeon. Reviving Bone. There's nothing in this chest, but you looked so excited to open it that I didn't have the heart to tell you earlier. Celestial Bone. You open the chest, realize you already looted it, then angrily slam the lid back down. That's a shame. Tarot Balm. You find only a bleak, empty void. That's a shame. Purging Balm. You open the chest to find a message scrawled in blood along the underside of the lid. Whoever took my stuff will pay. Huh. Found EP charge. No, give it back! That was my spleen! <laughs> Smelling salts. Everything that mattered in here is gone. That's too bad. Oh, we already got that one. And three, three, 300 fire set with 100 times space and mirage. We need water quartz, sir. You have returned. The pact is sealed. Your firstborn child is mine. <laughs> Good times. Excuse me, sir. Chesticle. Area bomb. There is nothing in the chest. Nothing! Now go! Shoo! I think we want to actually go the other way. Rumpelstiltskin style. I guess we'll fight you, like whatever, dude. Why not? Why the beep not? MC Series Doom. 2703 HP, strong against fire, weak against water, drops EP charge 2, a mechanized droid that patrols Cornelia Tower, uses arts, may self-destruct! <laughs> yeah, even! Punch it in the face! Doing ridiculous damage! That's a big explosion! Savor the victory! We earned it! Okay. We want to go this way. Fun fact. There's a chesticle. EP charge. Nothing but nothing. Nothing style. Broken PC, Carnelia, I guess. 1411 HP. Drops Tira Balm, a scout type orbital dry droid that patrols the Carnelia Tower. <laughs> Doesn't get much more fun than that. <laughs> Punch it in the face! Assuming it, it has a face. Sure it does somewhere. They messed with the wrong guy. They sure did. You don't mess with the Zen of Legend, or Zane, as he's called in the Japanese version. Alright. Now we want to go in this teleporter up here. You know, because these dungeons are all about teleportation. Which is fun.
Hey, doing? Ba 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 MC Series Doom! Hiya! 1663, ladies and gentlemen. Punch it in the mouth! 1330. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> they messed with the wrong guy! Well, that's a good way to build up your CP, though. That's a thing. So we got more of these, of course. Y'all ready for this? Lakeside Underground Facility. One, well, one of four. N or two. The seal into a needed energy and we to the of using Orioli the to wishes gives its boon and words thought that we could the of Orioli however not to shortly Orioli it to simply it's of the good times. Data Crystal 4. Gotta love that, man. Yeah, gotta love that. Bum, 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 bum. And we get another one. Side underground facility three out of four. Apparently we're 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 not doing them in order. <laughs> the was roughly large on the side of our this the beneath the was a uh, as was by human the had effect it while the 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 we had to the Data Crystal 6! Fun! We went from 4 to 6, apparently. We were doing them in order. We're freaking rebels. Here we go again. Lakeside Underground Facility 4 of 4. The of under was of the surface the whose points toward Orioli the four that the of the and vital as the Data Crystal 7. Good times. And there should be one more. One would think. Yep, yep, yep. 
Dun, 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 dun. Lakeside Underground Facility 2 of 4. We could the of casting our the we the in the that rest deep the and requested to in however under of the seems had come the that it's was the the city the elimination of to so to the Arioli with the of these under the the veins. Hey, it goes to five. Good times. So I think e each tower is going to have those dealios. So that's a fun time. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So we want to go over this way. Actually, advance. Game Boy Advance, even. I guess I'll fight you just because. Mm -hmm. uh, I hate my headset. Do, 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 do. Alright. Broken P. Broken. <laughs> like that time Mitch played Broken instead of the comedy music. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da Punch him in the face. Nicely done. Nicely done. We need water sapeth. Damn you. There's some chesticles. Suzaku bow. There's nothing in the chest, but the air inside is strangely humid. Of course, Kevin's not here, but oh well. I hiccuped. Suzaku bow. An ancient bow adorned by holy eastern beast designs. Genbu shell. There we go. This chest is empty. Not even half empty, just plain empty. Getting a lot of Eastern deity type stuff. Ancient gauntlets adorned by holy Eastern beast designs. Fun. He broke 800 attack. That's just disgusting. Sickening, even. Reviving Balm! Do you know that this treasure chest is an S-Rank Bracer? Yes, treasure chests have their own Bracer Guild. And this chest is legendary. Woo! Gotta appreciate that. Gundal C. 3286 HP. Same elemental affinities. Drops EP Charge 2 and Tier All Bomb. A mechanized droid that guards Carnelia Tower calls for backup if it sustains damage. Pretty fun. Hi, uh. Punch it in the mouth. Stabby, stabby! Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. He didn't call for backup. That's that then. Let's move out. You tell him, Johnny Young Bosch. 
Glory level 64. There's some water set, but there you go. That's what we want. Well, we broke 5,000 HP like a cool person. Teleporter! In fact, this actually takes us back to the previous area, but at a different spot. Different spot. Different, different strokes for different folks, even. EP Charge 3. As you search the empty chest insides, just in case you missed something last time, it gives you a splinter. <laughs> Found insulating tape. You lift the chest over your head and shake as hard as you can, but nothing comes out. Well, it was an impressive display of strength, at least. That's something. Softening bomb. You see a single tear roll down its treasure chest cheek. Wait a second. Chests don't have tear ducts? Or do they? Monsters! Monsters. Monstar, even. Time for some death scream. Do, 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 punch you in the face. In the face. Do, 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 Ow. That was rude. Stop throwing sharp objects at me, sir. I don't appreciate that. They're preparing arch. Too bad they're about to die. So, it matters not. Death scream! <laughs> Destroyed. <laughs> Titanic roar! Defeated. <laughs> Nicely done. Nicely done, even. He's in level 70. Chloe level 65. Chloe learned Electris 2. Sounds like fun to me. Here a bomb. We get Ruby Talisman. Sure, it's empty, but maybe if you checked it again. Maybe not. Maybe not, sir. Do -do -do. Ruby Toe. We already had one, but guess what? Now we have another one. So suck on that. Lictress 2. A Radiant Clash revives KO'd and heals 12,000 HP. Defense up by 50% if 200 CP. Sounds good to me. Zen broke 8,900 HP like a cool person. Chloe broke 5,100 HP also like a cool person. Good times. And there are a lot of chests in this place. Which is fine by me. Another teleporter! <laughs> Chesticles! That is all. Carry a bomb. When you stare too long into the chest, the chest stares back at you. 300 fire sap at 100 times space of mirage. The chest is angry at being robbed. It demands you build it a shrubbery. <laughs> Whoa! It's alright, man. I I'm good. Celestial Bomb! The chest is as empty as your soul. Hero Bomb! As you crack the lid of the chest, you hear a sound like the collective wailing of editors. 
You let the lid drop, sealing the sound away forever. <laughs> oh. Good times. So this place has a lot of intersections, which is always a fun time in the Mushroom Kingdom. So we want to go this way. Yeah! A lot of them like, just have enemies in them. Do we want to go down here? Do we? No, 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 no. I think I want to go this way. Okay, fine. You, you really wanted to fight that badly, sir? Come on, dude. Be cool. Be cool, I say. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da, even. I uh, even. Chainsaw Shirley style. One shot, Jones. Get out of here, sir. Nobody likes you. <laughs> Latira! Too bad you have full HP, so that literally did nothing. You were just too late, man. Just too late. Savor the victory. We earned it. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Here a bomb. Keep your charge too. There we go. We get some chasticles here. That's that's always fun. Keep your charge too. You took a gamble on something being in this chest, and I'm afraid you lost. Hi, Giga. Oh, nice. That is a really good piece of equipment. I wish you a wonderful day full of treasure chest plundering. <laughs> Zen. He could probably be a Bobo. And the Shadow Master. Taiji Garb. Oh, that is nice. That is so very nice. Do, 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 do. All right. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I just hiccuped. Now we want to go this way. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think we actually want to go back to the first uh, intersection. Hold on. No, oh, not there. Here, right? Do, 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 do. Celestial Bomb. You tell the chest to say ah, and it obliges. Everything seems to be in order here. Ontario Bomb. I don't think there's an open every chest in the game trophy, but even if there were, you've already opened this one. Actually, I believe there is. But, yeah. But, but we already got it. On Blue Falcons. If you want something else, you're going to have to sign this legally binding contract. Whoa! Blue Falcon. 
Arms. Our defense. Yeah, we'll take that. Blue Falcons. Now we want to go back to that other intersection. So much teleporting. It's almost disgusting in a way. Oh, it's a ram powder. Nice. The empty chest stomach gurgles. That's a shame. Ba 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 ba. Hiya! You jerk. Hiya again. Meh. <laughs> Nicely done. Da -na 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 -na. I'm gonna go this way, it's kind of hard to see, but I believe there's a chest here. There it is. You just can't really see it. Time for a little jet scream. Punch him in the mouth. Do it. Don't make me come over there. Oh, I didn't mean to hit you again, but whatever, man. Stand up adventures, even. I want to hear you scream! <laughs> bow, 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 bow. That's what we do here, man. Phantom Pain! <laughs> Metal Gear Solid 5, even. Oh. <laughs> Drink down to everybody! Make everybody weak! Don't heal! Come on, man, be cool. Wow, that was very obnoxious, not gonna lie. But that's how it goes. Ah! 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 Aya! Aya! That's what you get, man. You get destroyed. Punch him in the mouth. That's what he gets. That's that then. Let's move out. <laughs> That's a level up. Still level 71. Chloe level 63. 66. I don't know why I said 63. What the beep? That's no good. On Long Barrel 3! Our first Long Barrel 3. You've already looted this chest right down to the bare bottom. A bare ass, as it were. Of course, nobody has a long-range weapon in our party currently, so it doesn't matter, but, uh, yeah. It'll be good for, uh, you know, whoever. Range up by four. Pretty good. 
Oh, I broke 5200 HP! I still broke 7000 HP! Well, what a cool person! I'll tell you what, man. EP charge too. This chest prod possessions have already passed to some wandering adventurer satchel. Probably yours. You'd be right about that. You wanna go this way? Carol Bomb. Watch out! This chest has nothing to lose. There's no telling what it might do. Uh huh. Sapphire Gem. Oh, yeah, that's one of the best gems in the game, but you need to upgrade to level 3 to use it. Not, not exactly shy, are you? Bum, 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 bum. It would be nice if we could put it on, but we need to upgrade to 3 first. So basically, it's pretty much like Mind 5, more or less. Art strength up by 15%, art defense down by 5. So oh, yeah! Hero Bomb! I'm not so sure you understand the definition of empty. <laughs> Yin Yang! Look, I know I don't have anything, but we can still hang out, right? Wait, come back! Mwahaha! <laughs> So we can give Yin Yang t to someone else, I suppose. Yin Yang, Yin Yang, Haze and Heal, Haze and Heal. So we can give that to you instead of that. It would make sense. Yin Yang, Yin Yang, Midnight, come and me want to go home. There's a chest over there. Is there anything over here? Yeah, okay, there you go. You're all bomb! You briefly wonder how many jelly beans you could fit in a treasure chest of this size. But the thought quickly fades. Here, all bomb. Well, hello. Welcome to Treasure Chest Village. You sure are a funny-looking treasure chest. Mo. <laughs> Proxy puppet. If this chest could talk, it would say, "You took my stuff already." Yeah. Well. Sometimes that's how it goes, man. Nothing can be done about it. Uh-oh. You know what that means? It's boss time, even! Oh, boy. Looks like we're, we're in Gehenna now. Finally here. That was definitely a climb. Heh, <laughs> figured you'd be dropping in. It's Walter! Cronkite. Walter. Zinn, knew you'd come. And hey, it's Fangboy. 
Been a while, kid. Kid style. It has. I'm surprised, though, Walter. You never mentioned being part of the school Zen trained at. Heh, <laughs> yeah, well, I pulled in a lot of styles aside from just the Tato school. Fun fact, Tato's the name of the company that makes, uh, made, a uh, what's it called? Arkanoid. That's it. Gotta diversify if you want to beat people to death with their own arms, you know. No big surprise you never noticed. Walter, you... So how about you, Sven? Still clinging to that dusty old living fist. Yeah, well, you know, I'm a clumsy guy. Afraid I could never hope to be half as good as our master was in Tato if I tried branching into other styles. Dull as ever. Ah, whatever. I was getting bored just sitting up here. Time for a good old-fashioned death match. Oh, they made the chase game. Nice! Fun fact, they also published the uh, first Lufia game, I believe. A little fun fact for you. What? Steel Cougars. Armored Animals. How cruel. You have fun playing with those kids. So come on, Zen, show me. I want to see those moves you've been working on for six years. I'll be more than glad to. He's gonna punch Walter in the face! I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure that's that's what's about to happen here. So we got Steel Cougar, who who pretty much become a recurring enemy in the Trail series. 6154 HP, drops EP charge 2. Armored combat monster trained by the society. Very nimble. Cuts prey to pieces. And we got Walter, Enforcer 8. 13,489 HP. The Dire Wolf, expert in the Tato style. Obliterates foes with his murderer's fist. That sounds pretty uplifting, doesn't it? Of course, as usual, we want to do True Distend. Ah, strength up, defense up. Pretty much making him untouchable. <laughs> Death cream. If there's a better spell than Death Scream, I haven't seen it. Mwah! Ha ha! Too barrage! This ends here! This totally ends here. Bam! They got a big chunk of your HP. Think you can catch me? Phantom work. Brings up his speed and agility. That's always an exciting thing, isn't it? And do a little Titanic roar! Ow! Windblade! They remind me of Rapide with a... With a knife in their mouth. You little... Titanic Roar! Which would probably bring this tower down, but, you know. But I'm afraid we're gonna have to digress. Now! Light of the heavens, heal these battered wings! Radiant Flash! Defense up for everybody. Gotta love that. And Zen all already had defense up, so 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 he's pretty much a god at this point. <laughs> Black Fang. You're finished. You're finished, style. Destroyed. We are just too OP. That's 
That's all it is, man. It's too damn OP. See, I told you I was gonna punch him in the face. And then he punched me back! You can't do that! Can't do that on television. Can't even do that on pay-per-view. Defeated. Savor the victory. We earned it. Do -do 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 -do. Zen level 71. Chloe level 67. Oh, he's gonna gain another level too. Chloe level 68. Good times. EP charge too randomly. Ah. That was about what I expected. Not bad. Your forms are all pretty refined. But you ain't lying about being clumsy. Your movements are so obvious. Well, excuse me, princess. And it's because you're so stuck on sticking to just that ragged old Tato style. Chase HQ, even. <laughs> and what's so damn funny? You really are a genius, but you lack understanding of a core principle. Maybe we'll stream Chase HQ sometime. That'd be funny. Master must be ashamed. Oh? You lecturing me in place of the old man now? <laughs> I wouldn't presume to do anything so great as that. However, after matching fists with you, I understood. As I am now, it would be very difficult for me to win. I'm making my pants sometimes! Yay! But conversely, I wouldn't lose either. Your bloody fist cannot defeat me. Interesting. Never thought I'd hear something that gutsy come out of your mouth. I thought I'd just have to taste to kill some time, but we're past that now. I got during that fight, his sunglasses didn't even come off. It's pretty impressive, man. Assume your stance in. They're gonna fight it out. It's about time I taught you just what the hell difference in ability really means. Oh boy, he's powering up! Uh oh. What should we do? Should we help? I... I think this has to be Zen's fight. Oh! Fight it out. They're going one-on-one! -on -one. <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> Damn. You're sticking with it pretty well, but after all that preaching you did, I was hoping you would. You're doing well, too. Damn it, Walter. How could you allow yourself to be dragged down into the darkness with abilities like yours? If you'd walked the path Master showed us, you would have reached the pinnacle of righteousness. You're really gonna stand there and say that? You never actually figured out why the old man died, did you? What? <laughs> that one got your attention. Tell you what, if by some damn miracle you win, I'll fill you in on it. Excuse me. Your side of the bet is your life. He's going Super Saiyan 3. Very well. This life is worth wagering for that.
Zen? No, Estelle. We can't stop this. Not our fight, man. Fight it, dude. Uh, Chakram! If you play later games, you you know what a random chakram means. The hell? A chakram? Impossible. It's Killika! Killika? What in the world are. The battle to defend Zeiss has ended. I left the receptionist desk to Wong and came to see how you were getting on. See how we were, uh... So you climbed the Shadow Tower by yourself? <laughs> That's impressive. Kilika, really? Yeah, now this is like old times. So what is it then? See how things are going? Maybe get some sweet, sweet revenge for the old man? Not at all. The match was fairly done, after all. Why do you believe I would tread on Father's will? Killika. I'm simply here because I wish to say something to someone who disappeared six years ago. Nothing more. Something to say, huh? Alright then. So, Walter, why did you never see me for who I am? Gah. I don't know the details of what Father told you. I cannot imagine it had anything to do with what we had, however. Even more so with Zen. So it really didn't. I thought so. Walter, you are a fool. Did you really think Father was the kind of man to hold such a thing against you? It, it had nothing to do with the old man. It was my problem to resolve. Now, now, wait a moment. Walter, what did Master say to you? What would it have to do with me? Ah, shut up. I got no obligation to tell you. Yes, it has nothing to do with Zen. But it had everything to do with me. You disappearing without telling me was negligent, at best. I have no lingering attachment to someone who could not see me as myself. You are welcome to be gone to wherever you wish, or to slink back to the nest of Ouroboros. However you choose, I will deal with you as a member of the Bracer Guild. Nothing more. randomly stopped. Ah. It's reverting. But, well, so much for that. Heh. <laughs> Job's done, then. So I guess that's two down, three to go. Killika. Despite everything, I'm glad I got to see you again before the end. I am half glad and half despairing. I doubt we'll ever meet again. Yeah, the rest is between me and the big guy right over there. You can't even be a little sweet at a time like this, though. Old as ice, right up to the very end. As I recall, that's what you fell for. Eh, suppose I did. You too. 
Zen. If you want to know the reason me and the old man fought to the death, make me lose. Use that living fist he left you and beat me. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Who just jumps off a tower? I mean, really. Come on, man. Be cool. Whoa, whoa, hang on. Can an enforcer jump from that this height and, like, not die? Not all of them can, no. But an expert like him. I wouldn't be surprised if he's fine. That's a nice ability, isn't it? Who needs an elevator when you can just jump off a tall building? You know what I'm talking about? He used the wall to slow his descent. What incredible strength. So I guess he just like slides down the wall or something like that. Falling out a window even like Billy. <laughs> Such a pest. Pilica. It looks like things aren't settled just yet. How did you know Walter would be here? You thought I didn't know. First Walter, then you. Tell me, why are men sometimes so simple? That's a good question. I don't think anyone's been able to find the answer to that, sadly. Uh, well... Hmm... I repent all of my sins and beg forgiveness. Please just stop staring at me. <laughs> With my personal business out of the way, I will return to Zeiss. Good luck, everyone. Take care of the other towers. We do have three more to go, you know. Kilika, thanks. Yeah, we will. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. What in blazes? She climbed the whole thing on her own? Pretty much. Ha! Huh. Shouldn't actually surprise me. Kilika's always been quietly amazing. Yeah. I'd always heard that Kilika Roran of the Zeiss Guildhouse was a tremendously capable woman. Hope I have the chance to meet her in person one day. Um, Kilika and Julia together? Those two could probably juggle mountains working together. Anyway, it's just like last time. The tower has returned to normal, but the machinery atop it no longer functions. Yes, it's worrying. We also still don't understand the nature of those barriers that appear over the roofs. Um, I guess the question is, why are they covered up in the first place, huh? Personally, I think we can sweat that later. Right now, we need to get a move on to the next tower. Tower number three. Yeah, good idea. Julia, don't suppose we have any updates from the other towers. I get I guess we could check if if Newfie's PS4 has to update again. One came in not long ago from the Saffron Tower. This time it was a woman dressed in black, wielding a bell of all things. Her. Luciola the, the, the Bewitching Bell. She was once an acquaintance of yours, wasn't she, Shira? Yes, she's an old friend. This means it's my turn to tag along, I suppose. 
Even though you went in the first one with us, but I digress. Shira, if you don't want to... Come on, you. Don't make that face. Lucy is herself, and I'm me. We can settle our differences if we have time. <gasps> Excuse me. Our first priority must be to complete the mission we've been given as bracers. Bracers, even. Take Shira with us on this next one. Dual Seaside Way. Looks like there's more shenanigans. <sighs> Still chasing us, are they? Just a little further and we can meet up with the Minoria Garrison. Don't stop now. We must see these people safely there. They're escorting people, didn't you know? It's Mary! M Matron Teresa! Don't worry, Mary. We'll be fine. I won't let them lay a finger on you. It's Polly! Want a cracker? We're in a lot of trouble, aren't we? Oh, no. Uh-oh. You sure are. Whoa! From the opposite side. Whoa! Says Daniel. Okay, you jerks. I guess I gotta... It's Clem! No, Clem. Get back here. Oh, Adios. Please save us, your powerless children. Meh. <laughs> Meh. <laughs> It's Annalise! Kurt and Grant. <laughs> Who are you? Hey, they're... Bracers! <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. Yep, in the second game, they gave the kids portraits for whatever reason. I don't know why they didn't have them already, but whatever you gotta do. Everyone okay? Nobody hurt. Y yeah. We're fine. I'm drinking Pepsi Zero. <laughs> good, good to see we made it. There's Karna. Karna. Sorry to meet you again like this, Matron Teresa. You're evacuating to Minoria, right? Yes, the good soldiers here are are blah, 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 are escorting us. You there, soldiers. We we shall hold them here. Yeah, you guys hurry and get the kids to Minoria. You, you have our thanks. Everyone, follow us. Okay. Coming. Da, 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 da. Do, 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 Fight a dude. Alrighty. Looks like we've got our work cut out for us, huh? We still have to do it. Don't worry, this is nothing. Compared to what Estelle and everyone have to deal with at those towers, this is a picnic. Pretty much. Indeed. All we can do is do our best here so they can fight without worrying for their loved ones. By my arts, become hard as steel. Meh. He buffed the party! Come, everyone, for liberal! Hell yeah, let's go! Woo! Good times.
And now we go to the next tower. Over to the west, Saffril Tower. Good, hopefully we can get some more water quartz there, because that's what we need. And now we're off to ruin. I wonder how Matron Teresa and the kids are doing. Pretty ironic to mention that after what we just saw. If the plan is going well, they're being evacuated to a safe location under army protection. Protection. I hope they're safe. I'm certain they'll be fine. We don't need to worry. Dad's ordered the army to work together with the guild to keep the battle and ruin under control. Joshua, thank you. Yeah, definitely. Dad isn't going to let anything happen to ruin. Yeah, the old man ain't gonna screw up on this. Everyone. We're five minutes out from Saffiral Tower. Shira. Yes, I'm ready. Once we arrive, we'll head off. Please form your party! Of course, you get to have Shira along with you, but... But for now, we actually want to put Chloe in our party, because I think she she has to be in your party in order to get a book. So, right. we're going to do that. Book style. Book, 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 book. Do, 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 do. The Ruin Rearguard Division has arrived safely in Minoria. According to reports, they evacuated all civilians living near the roads. We avoided one disaster, at least. Great work, you guys. We still haven't figured out what the source of the Orbital Field Anomaly is. If we could just figure out what it is, we could do something about it. I'm sorry, but I think we'll be relying on you for a while longer. Hmm? Who are you? Sorry, but please don't distract me. This wind is really strong. Keeping us in position is difficult. Don't they realize how hard it is to get a ship like this to hover? Uh -huh. Ruin Rearguard, Minoria Station. This is the RSA. Ruin Rearguard, report your situation. I repeat, this is the RSA. Ruin Rearguard, report it. Did you hear a woman made it to the top of Carnelia Tower? Wow, she must be incredible. Must be. Oh, I bet our Captain Schwartz could do the same. Maybe. Maybe not. You never know. So we want to come out here, yes, and talk to Antoine. What are you doing out here anyway? Huh, it, it looks like someone's trying to tell us something. I think he wants to give us something. You're giving us this book? You have a book? Receive Gambler Jack, Volume 10. So yeah, for whatever reason, if you don't have Chloe in your party, you won't get this book. So, that's kind of a thing. Very easy one to miss. <laughs> Thank you, Antoine. Wow, this is special. Well, look who's sunbathing. I hear Stephen Hasty likes to sunbathe. Volume 10. Chapter 10, The Match. Separated by the small card table, the two faced off. Each player had a mountain of chips to wager. Once someone's pile was reduced to nothing, the match would be over. The clock struck midnight. In the silence following the chime, the grand match between Jack and Hallie began. 
first the match was totally even. For every hand Jack won, Hallie won another. Whenever Hallie won a hand, Jack had the next. Neither gave a wrench. The one most surprised by this close contest were one and his crew. Everyone who had bet on Jack started to jeer and hoot. During the match, time and again, Hallie spoke to Jack. Using conversation to distract your opponent was all part of the game. But Hallie's persistence went beyond just tactics. Final Fantasy tactics, even. However, Jack never said a single word back to her. Thirty minutes passed. Breaking the silence, Jack suddenly spoke. Once upon a time, there was a man. In a voice so soft the crowd could barely hear, he continued. This man had something he admired. He wanted to become the thing he admired, and he wanted to win against the object of his admiration. And through it all, he was drawn closer to that which he admired. Both laid down their hands. Jack had one pair. Hallie had two. Chips moved from Jack's mountain to, to Hallie's. Heh, <laughs> what is it, Jack? Is this all part of your plan? Hallie would occasionally add a sarcastic remark, but Jack just kept on telling the story. The man stole some tricks from that which he admired and practiced his own skills as best he could. In the end, his efforts eventually made him strong enough that people called him Victory. But, you know, Victory Jack. <laughs> At some point, there was someone who took notice of that reputation. He thought, why not pit the best against each other? There's no show that could be better. Enrique's tears twitched. Something in what Jack was saying bothered him. That's too bad. The man gladly accepted the offer for the show. It was the match of a lifetime with that which he admired most after all. The man's heart danced with excitement. Back then, that man was a young fool who didn't see the world around him for what it was. Certainly he'd never have thought about what it would really mean to lose that match. Allie listened but made no reply. At some point, she had started to pay attention to Jack's story. The audience was just the same. Everyone in the hall strained to hear the tale, tumbling softly from Jack's lips. The two played their cards. Jack had no pair. Allie had a full house. Chips moved from Jack's mountains to Howie's. That concludes volume 10! Good times. Alright. Now you're free to take Chloe out of your party if you want. You've gotten word that society forces are acting in ruin as well. They seem to have men everywhere in the kingdom. We need to strengthen our patrols in the future, it seems. Apparently so. Hey, Bracers. My research is stalled, so I thought I'd step out to clear my head a bit. Uh-oh. I wonder what's going on with the tower. Very strange. I'm worried about my little brother in ruin. I hope the town's safe. I'm sure he's fine. Ah, couldn't get in. What are you trying to do, sir? You punk? Meeting room. Nobody in the meeting room. Da 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 da. da. Seems like the entire country has gone completely barking mad. I'm sure our boys below have got their hands full. Boys style. Er, what I'm saying is, it's great that we've got you to take care of these blasted towers. Okay. I say so. It's Zed and Agat are hanging out. Ah, everyone. Heading for the tower. Yes. Once we're done preparing. Taking a break, Zen. Heard Stephen Hasty's taking a break. To be honest, I would like to take a chance to rest. Perhaps meditate. But now is not really the time. If you call, I'll be ready. You don't need to push yourself. After all, you, you took down Walter. You can afford to rest. Yes, don't strain yourself too much. Huh. 
Thanks for the thought. You don't need to hold back for my sake, though. Just say the word. Well, guess what? I'm saying the word. Time for me to join the team. Indeed. All right! All right. Yo, Shirazard, you're up now, huh? Looks like it, yes. Sorry I can't stay and have a drink. Booze aside, if you need my sword, I'll come along any time. You need me, just say the word. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Heavy Blade. I owe you one. Heavy Blade. Steam may seem to disappear, but it's just dispersed into the atmosphere. That rhymed. Conservation of matter and energy. The same... The same's got to apply to this. The orbital energy's got to be stored... Somewhere. The shadow towers. And folded dimensions. Could that be where the disappearing orbital energy is going? I have no idea what that is. But it's probably stupid. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Almost feels like the hand of the society can reach across the whole kingdom. Reminds me of how things felt during the coup. Yep, stupid. What is up with groups plotting awful stuff like this springing up like weeds these days? Bum, bum. Hey, doing? Oh, hi, Estelle. Hey, Tita. How's the professor's research going? Oh, um... Even Grandpa's having a hard time with those barriers. He keeps saying he just doesn't understand the principle behind them. Behind? I see. The barriers most likely have something to do with the mission the Enforcers have been given. I doubt a solution to breaching them will be straightforward. Well, there's little point in sitting here moping around about it. We can leave studying it to the professor while we enter the towers the old-fashioned way. What we find in the towers might lead to some hints to help his research. Yeah, and there's the data crystals, too. We do have more of them now. You're right. Let's focus on investigating the towers for now. The old-fashioned way. Ah, you found a new data crystal, did you? you? Found four of them. Let's get it set into Capel and start the auto analysis program. Thanks. So those data crystals, I believe, will be important for the final chapter. Still handed over all the data crystals they found. I'm afraid we still know very little about that barrier engulfing the tops of the towers. If we could make some progress deciphering that data crystal, we might get a clue. For now, I'm going to focus on getting some practical use out of that idea of mine. Let me say, between the shadow towers and these barriers, I'm not lacking for things to research. You know what I'm talking about? Bum, bum. Hello everyone, good work so far. It seems the professor's research is stuck on something. The researchers just went out for a quick break. You can't really make progress at anything if you just keep flogging away at something when you're stuck. Maybe you guys could use a little time in the break room as well. I don't know about all that, but... We can finally upgrade, well, you know, certain things. Upgrade it for slot one. And that's all we can do because we're out of water cords! Son of a... That's what I say, man. Eight. But we could put a sapphire gem on. That would give it 12. But I don't, I don't think I really want to do that just yet. But it gave her even more EP, so that's something. Luckily, the next tower, we we should be able to get some water cords. 
I do believe. That's what we need so badly. Man, climbing that shadow tower like it's nothing at all. Adios, I don't know what I'm feeling is fear or a crush. Well, it helps keep us guys on our toes, I guess. Right, Joshua? Leave me out of this, please. <laughs> Guess we could rest here. You know, as Kevin stands there, it's not creepy or anything, but I digress. Always digressing. Every day of my life. Ba -ba 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 -da. We don't need to do that again. Alright. So I think we'll save the next three towers for next time. We're going to call it a stream here. Over 84 hours of gameplay, ladies and gentlemen. So thanks everyone for stopping by. And I shall see you all next time. You get nothing. You lose. That's it. Good day, sir. That's all I got to say. Makes me want to. Word to your mother.